What up, fellow Rust players? So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys something I've been working on over the last couple of weeks, kind of refining it, but I decided to start an automated shop. So I got a bunch of machines on here. I set this guy up on the Zombs server. And right now I'm kind of just running it as a place to sell people everything that is available in the game. So I made sure to make it so that people could actually kind of check out what was going on over here. You'll see that there's a lot of automation, but the TLDR here is that every single one of these vending machines is interconnected with a box sorting system. So some of them are not on like that guy right there because I don't have anything into it yet. But everything is basically set up to the point where you can put something on the machine. And then you put a filter on for it. You can give it a minimum if you want. And then I have all the outputs on the machine basically getting combined into one conveyor that's moving all the scrap. But as you can see, I got all of these guys right here set up. Every single machine is set up like that. We even do have some machines on a separate loop where instead of them selling stuff they're purchasing stuff with scrap and it'll automatically keep the machine set up with some scrap and whenever the items get sold it automatically moves it out for us and you can see that's just setups there i got my little intake pipes and outtake pipes right here as you can see it really all just kind of works right here so everything goes into this drop box right here this drop box then sends it into the sorting system since I'm on a modded server, we could stack more stuff in boxes, so I don't need to have a crap ton of boxes. But as it goes, each of these is set up with basically just a category filter. Some of them have multiples. But all we really got to do is set up the category filters on these guys. And all of the loot gets filtered into these boxes. These two boxes as well. And we even have a connection for the TC to keep the upgrade or the upkeep done so no matter what you know i ain't got to worry about it just pulls it out of the resource box for me and then every single box is interconnected back into a loop that then can get split off into a multiple different things the blue line goes to the vending machines the red line goes to the furnace system and the yellow line goes to the crafting system and as you can see, I said it's fully automated because basically all I got to do is drop stuff in this box. It'll automatically fill up the machines, give me the scrap, all that kinds of stuff. And you can see that I got 10,000 in the machines with another 52,000 just sitting chilling in there, which is a pretty decent amount. And I already have basically everything. I can buy anything I need to on the server. And I have this thing kind of set up like this so people can walk back here and see that this is how I got it going on. Right now, these guys aren't on because there really isn't anything to make right now. But you can see that I got all these guys. Basically, every single one of these is making gunpowder. And they're all making gunpowder so that we can make explosives and rockets at these guys right here. And then each of these ones is a little more simple. Basically, this one makes gunpowder, pistol ammo, gunpowder, 5.56 five, ammo, gunpowder, and... Uh, explosive 556 and then over here you can see that we got this one doing basically explosives all the way around with one making rockets and we basically needed all that gunpowder at once to get it so we set it all up so that you know it kind of shows you exactly how much you would need and in, in real time and then everything's just kind of interconnected into my little power system right here and i'm using two of these uh, test generators to kind of run it got a lot of extra power, but it seems to be running pretty well and I'm digging it. Thanks for checking it out